Welcome to our discussion of the news media. A recent Gallup poll showed that 60% of Americans distrust the news media. They don't feel like the media reports the news fully, accurately, nor fairly. As we begin our discussion of the news media, I'd like for you to keep in mind two important facts about the news media. They are key to understanding the news media. Number one, their survival requires profits. Yes, I said profits. Their survival requires profits. We don't like to think that they are in it for altruistic motivation, but the fact is that they are in business to make money. Secondly, profits require ratings or viewership or distributions. So they've got to keep that wheel turning, keep the production going so that they can make the profit and they have to make the profits and the profits require a large distribution of their product. We're going to look at some of the historical developments of the news media. We'll talk about two of the key technologies and innovations that uh, catapulted uh, the news media, or particularly the print media, into a place of prominence in this country. We'll look at the time of yellow journalism, which was soon replaced by objective journalism, which seems to now be replaced by, once again, yellow journalism. We'll talk about the alliance between journalism and politics. You know, politics uh, are, it's an important part of our society, and journalists have played an important part in the propagation of political messages. They've served a number of functions, one being the signaling function. There was also the common carrier function, the watchdog function, as well as the partisan function. And we'll take a look at each of those functions of uh, journalism as it relates to politics. And then we'll conclude by looking at the current news audiences and the division of those audiences. We'll talk about the partisan divide as well as the information divide. With that introduction, let's take a look at the news media today.